that till Allah, till Rasul, all that amri minkum. And I always a reminder for myself, and I have to call ajis al da'ifu, miskeenu zalim al jahl. But for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah that Allah granted for us a life in which inshaAllah to see the opening of the 9th and 10th of Ramadan inshaAllah and that uh, Bab al Maghfirah and the, the dome of that Maghfirah Allah dressed with uh, Ursa Mubarak of Sayyidatina Khadijit al Qubra alayhi salam and that the immense love that she holds for the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and the immense love that Prophet holds for her reality. And that maqfirah and the endless realities of muhabbat and ishq and that Allah gives us so many examples in this world to understand love. And a reminder that love is a reality of madad, that all that we teach of these realities of love equals faith. And love and Divinely love with a character and a love for the sake of Allah love for Sayyidina Muhammad and then love for all those whom have that same love, means that is the heavenly love. That love also equals the reality of the madad and all the teachings of muraqabah and all the teachings of making the connection that we've described so many times. That Allah gives it in the state of innocence that children they don't know how to make madad. And Allah teaches because the children represent the station of sainthood. They are the inhabitants of paradise, that they walked upon paradise and the minute they're born it's like they come fresh from paradise, feet blessed from the heavens and the character and the reality that they exhibit is a ishara. They don't need a speech yet they communicate with everyone and everyone knows when they're hungry, when they're frightened, when they want anything. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. they want they merely give a shout and the, the world knows what they want, people know what they want. The God-given heart understands and this is a, a reality of sainthood that they don't need a spoken language to communicate. Just their vibration and the intention that comes from within their heart and the purity of their resolution and what they want accomplishes everything. And Allah gives to us an understanding that their way towards the madad and their way towards these realities is by love. And we are to raise our children with teaching them about the madad. So we go back and now think that when people were coming and the adults were coming to Islam, they knew nothing of Islam, they knew nothing of Allah God consciousness, taqwa, whatever we want to call it of a God consciousness 
is not easy to achieve and doesn't come within your accepting of Islam nor did the companions achieve a consciousness just by merely entering into Islam. Because Allah clarified for the Arabi in Holy Qur'an that when they said, we come we believe, Allah clarified, tell them they don't believe, they merely accept it. They see the signs, they see the beauty of Prophet of a Divinely character and they accept it. So it means that God consciousness is not something easy to achieve. But what brought them to such states of moral excellence and such states of perfection? Means was their love for Sayyidina Muhammad As a result of that love they wanted to achieve a nearness. They could not see themselves except to be near the presence of Prophet for here and for hereafter. That the love went beyond the boundary of space and time. Means such a love, such a reverence, such a nearness that everything they looked to Prophet Rasul Kareem because Allah reflects through that reality for creation. They came, they saw the character, the gentleness, the lovingness, the, the lack of trying to judge upon people, all of the characteristics that if you read the sirah and read the examples that Prophet exhibited of the mercy of Allah in which the companions had not seen anything like that in that region nor heard of it in their histories. The amazing gentleness, that love that made them to bond with His reality And then a bond that traversed the physical realm and they couldn't see themselves without being in that presence for all of eternity. The yearning of their paradise was to be near Prophet knowing that this time we have on earth it goes but in a day and that which you love <coughs> You can't vision that day ending then what happens to that love? The yearning traverses space and time and begins to ask for eternity that they eternally, eternally wanted to be with Him As a result of that yearning everything was accomplished to achieve that rank that will we be with you? This good deed that we did, we want to sit with you as we sit with you now. We want to eat with you as we eat with you now. We want to walk in your paradises as we walk with you now. And because of that love, they were able to move mountains, they fought with an immense resolve to achieve a state of death that would gain them the proximity to the presence of Prophet That's how fierce their love was. We don't know if our deeds are so strong because they also are the masters of humility. We don't know if the actions will take us, maybe Allah won't forgive something from the past. So they were resolved that if they fought and died in the way through their martyrdom they were guaranteed a presence in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad for all of eternity. Means that's the reality of love, 
And as a result in their studies and in their achievements they know that that was the nearness to Allah because you find the servant that is close to Allah and say, Ya Rabbi I want to be with him I'm not going to achieve that nearness. No companion thought that they're going to achieve a nearness to Allah Whatever we teach is not even a drop in the humility of their akhlaq and their understanding. They didn't think that they were going to achieve a nearness to Allah They prayed and hoped for a nearness to Prophet and they knew with all their yaqeen there is no one nearer to Allah than Sayyidina Muhammad But their duty was to be at the feet of Prophet and how they could achieve that with their life, with their wealth, with their possessions, with their family, whatever it took that was their res- resolution. They're the masters of madad and support and they teach us and they inspire within us that the sincerity of love and the sincerity of character and that everything is based on that love is the reality of your madad. Your scientific approach, connect your heart and close your eyes, do your breathing is secondary to the love. For the one whom has no love, what all the science is going to do for you? You click your heel and close your eyes and clap your hands and nothing going to happen. It's only through the vehicle of love and sincere love with their character, with their entire wujud, their entire being, not the hypocrisy of the physical world. If someone says they love you by tongue but yet their actions become fierce like wild beasts. But the love and the resolve of love to their entire soul. This is the legacy of the holy companions and Ahlul Bayt. That with that love that we had for Prophet it would have drove us mad to think that we would not be with him for all of eternity. And each one contemplated their way towards eternity. Sayyidina Bilal al-Habashi resolved that he would be tortured for that love until he read, reached the, the depths of a hadiyah in which every time they squeezed and crushed his reality. They asked him that to take away Muhammadun Rasulullah denounce, denounce the Prophet. He says, if you rip me to pieces I would never denounce because his reality is that's why I'm doing this. My resolve is to gain a nearness. For a lowly servant what is his hope to achieve? The presence of a lofty king, the king of all created universes, but to serve him with his life, with his entire being. And they inspire within our hearts that the only true madad and the reality of every madad is love. And children come into our homes and into our environment. And if they don't have a bond of love for you, it's not the taqwa that makes them to do their actions. Companions are teaching and resolving to us, what are your children going to know of Allah? What fear are they going to have of Allah? What understanding of, of, of they're going to have of Allah? They're nowhere near that understanding, they only pray because of you. 
They only fast because of you. They only do the actions that they do because of you. They want to gain a nearness to you, a companionship with you, have something in common with you. Only by the bond of ishq and love you can bring them into that. If you know the hikmah of it, you build a bond of love and companionship and as a result of them loving you, feeling that they want to make you to be happy, make you to be content, they begin to increase their ibadah and they increase their worship. Why? To be a companion with you and if their love grows stronger and your relationship becomes deeper, they'll ask you that when you leave this world how will I be with you as I miss you now in the physical world? So you be with me by your actions, love what I love, do what I do, pray how I pray and you'll traverse all the boundaries of space and time. And if they accomplish that and in that state of that love they gain that because they don't know the heavens but they know you. With that love if they enter into that and they begin to practice based on that, at that time the sincerity of their love Prophet will bring them near to his reality. His qurb, say qurbanat, by your sweetness and your nearness and your dearness Prophet rewards love. That I'm happy with the love they have for you. And I'm happy with the love you have for me and I'll bring them closer to my reality because they love you. And that love like a magnet flows from the heart of Prophet to that ashiqeen and that servant and then flows to the hearts of their children and their loved ones. And as a result they begin to gain a consciousness, they begin to feel that love. They feel the depth of that love and that becomes the whole path of tariqah because people want to know how to raise your children. You don't raise them by yelling and screaming that pushes love away. You don't raise them by fear, they don't fear anything. But the strongest reality because otherwise how the shaykhs could raise you with fear? Every day they come and say, okay we're going to beat you. I say, heck with you, you crazy people, I'm leaving. But it's based on love. Everyone competes for the nazar of the shaykh, everyone's trying to compete for the attentions of the shaykhs. They teach the same system based on the love. Based on the good character and the good manners you want to achieve a great deal because of love. And they teach this is the way for our children, let them bond with that love and draw near to you. As a result of that love for you they will wish to achieve, to be near you and to be dear to you. And for our own reminders that is the way to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad It's not by the rules and not by the fears of punishment 
but for the heart that has a love and ishq and the heart that begins to become devoid of love means that a virus has entered, a contamination has entered. When a heart has no love and has a hard character, maybe they were abused in life, maybe this is all that they understood of life. But it's a disease that enters. When someone has a loving heart and they make a loving connection, that love has to be an eternal love that we described in the realities of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq. We were Siddiq because of our truthfulness to love, not the truthfulness to our fasting and to our prayers and to our zakat and that we gave the zakat on time all the time. We were Sadiq al-Ishq that we were willing to die on our truth and we lived and died in the service of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad where we can't find anyone worthy of that anymore. But to keep the character of truthfulness in love, truthfulness in our character and our reality draws us to be near to the presence of Prophet And as a result of that dress and that blessing they begin to teach then keep that relationship with the family, keep that relationship with the children. That through that love and that reverence and love and respect they have for you the good things they want to do with you, the deeds and the time they spend with you, they begin to put within their heart that they don't want to be away from you. Then continue what you're doing for a day when I leave this earth, it won't be our parting that we will be eternally together. The companions couldn't see it, couldn't imagine it, that would there be a day in which we can't eat with you and pray with you. Sayyidina Bilal al-Habashi was so devastated by the death of Prophet He left Medina, so how can I call Azan when the master of all universes is not coming? Means the ishq they had, the love they had. Not had but they have of a, of a eternal love. And later they convince, please come back, please come back. When you call the prayer it reminds us all of the presence of Prophet Means throughout our lives many reminders of this reality. But on this night of Say- Sayyidatina Khadija al Qubra and the immense love that she has for Prophet and the immense love that Prophet has for her holy soul. That a reminder for myself and for our families and all our loved ones, the path is based on love. If a sickness enters the heart and this is the danger that people don't understand, that's all it's based off of, not acumen not your knowledge, not your ability to debate and then to find fault and to find errors and to, to find all sorts of critiques. It's that you once love this person and when love begins to leave your heart a disease has set in. And as a result of that disease there's the danger of contagion. When people thought the pandemic was killing people, what was the danger? That one person would get it and get ten people sick, right? This is more dangerous than that. When you have love in your heart, wuquf al the vigilance of one's heart, that what we built in this path of a love for our shaykhs, we tried our best to safeguard it from all those who would come to pick at it. 
they want to email a comment, they want to send a comment, they want so much the agents of shaitan to come to do what? To enter into my heart and steal the love that I have and that I've built over these years. Why? Because of contagion. If they're sick they want everyone sick and they may not even know they're sick. But the one devoid of love and now filled with bad character is very dangerous and that's the danger and that's why the tariqah acts the way it does is that the heart is a very delicate vehicle. As you build it, safeguard it and fortify it like a home that you have filled with gold. You don't open your windows and say, well whatever happens, happens. You don't invite criminals over and say, well let's just chat and have some tea. I just want to see what you have to say as a criminal. But you know that you have jewelry and possessions in your home, you have children in your home, but you safeguard your home because it's your dunya and you worship your dunya. But what about the heart? When it has a love and when it has a faith and you know that the only objective that shaitan has on this whole earth with all his servants is to take that love and that faith away. That's why we say, don't watch those scholars, don't talk to people whom entered into lack of love and lack of manners. Don't watch the scholars of hate and fire because they throw arrows at the heart and begin to pick one by one, one by one. Why? Maybe they see you as carrying a flag of realities, as a, as a lover of realities. And shaitan says, I know how to take this person down one brick at a time until I whisper so much to them by human whisperers, spiritual whisperers until they also now have lack of love in their heart. And now they're a part of the contagion. And you see that the spiritual virus is much more deadly than a physical virus. Because as soon as you have that contagion within your heart you begin to have critique and criticism, you begin to find fault. When you don't find fault in yourself but you find fault in spiritual masters is a deep secret, deep danger entering into the heart of people. And that sickness will spread into the home and into the family and begin to distance the servants from the presence of Prophet and that's why we're trying to teach this reality that this reality is based on ishq and love. If you pick that rope you're like mountain climbing and shaitan knows that to cut your string and cut your rope he kicks one rope at a time. You may have like a hundred ropes tied together like a thick mountain climbing rope. Shaitan come and keeps cutting one at a time, one at a time, one at a time to so you listen to so much gossip because you're a nosy person and you want to hear from everyone. You want to know the gossip of everyone and he cut 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 until your life is but on one thread and then he cut that last one too. This path is based on a fierce love, a love of life and death and that's what makes somebody to be sadiq. The only interpretation of truthful servant, not their zakat and time, not their salah and time, not all of those other things that they were truthful, you gave them five dollars, they gave you five dollars back. Sadiq al-Mutlaq explained and inspired within the heart, the only truth is that we were true to love and that was supreme. We lived and died for that love. If you conquer that and achieve that everything falls into place because for that love you pray on time. 
For that love you pay on time, for that love you give your life in an instant. Without that love everything is in your mind that, hmm, maybe not now. We pray that Allah inspire us to the realities of tariqah, the realities of ishq and muhabbat inshaAllah. Subhan rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen, walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.